For our couch supported glenohumeral internal rotation pales rails setup. Say that five times fast. It's quite a mouthful. You're gonna wanna sit on the floor nearby a couch or a nice comfy squishy chair uh, so that you have a, a, a nice sturdy surface to lean back against, uh, but we can trap your shoulder blade. So the first point that's actually really important, I'm just gonna have Hannah turn for a second. You want to aim that couch surface to get right into the corner at the back of your armpit so that we're really holding the scapula in place as we start to work on that glenohumeral joint. So Hannah's gonna lean back against the couch, find that spot, and then just hook the elbow on the actual top of the surface. Now this is a moment where you gotta kinda choose your own adventure in terms of how much your, your chest is turning towards that working arm. Might feel better to turn a little more or actually turn away a little bit. But wherever you're at, you wanna keep that scapula, that armpit area uh, trapped on the couch. Okay, then once you're there, go ahead, just do a few rotations actively of the glenohumeral joint to find your end range for internal rotation. Once you locate that end range, you're going to trap the uh, working arm with the other hand. And then from here, you might find a little bit more room to move into your passive range of motion. It's from that point where we really want to start engaging the contraction. So the first would be your pales contraction, where you're trying to think about unwinding the arm, thinking of this direction of rotation, and the other arm is not allowing any motion. You'd ramp that up to the intensity we indicate, and then switch over to the other contraction, where you're trying to increase the amount of internal rotation on that joint. Still have that other hand nearby because you're in your passive range. So very likely that rails contraction where you're trying to rotate further won't be strong enough to actually uh, reach away from that hand. If it is, like you can see Hannah is able to create that space. You just wanna take up that slack as you relax the uh, contraction. And so now you're working a little bit deeper into your glenohumeral internal rotation range. Go ahead and give it a shot. Let us know how it goes and uh, any questions that come up.